Hi there, and thank you for stopping by. Today in this PowerPoint presentation, you will be learning about alternative energy. This presentation was created by me, Carrie Christensen. There are three types of energy that you will be learning about in this presentation. The first type is solar power, then you will learn about wind power, and finally water power, which is also called hydroelectricity. So let's get started. The first type of alternative energy you are going to learn about is solar power. Solar power, as the name suggests, comes from the sun. Sunlight is converted to energy that can be used to power small individual objects as well as entire buildings. Since the sun hits every area of the world, solar power has the potential for widespread adoption as long as the cost can be minimized. Solar power can also be used year-round. Yes, that even includes the winter where the temperatures drop. As long as there is sun, solar power can be harnessed and utilized. So how is solar energy harnessed? Good question. Solar power is harnessed by solar panels. The size and amount of solar panels depends on what is requiring power. The smaller the item, the smaller the amount of solar panels needed, and the bigger the item, the more solar panels required. There are two types of solar panels. One type converts sunlight directly into energy with lenses and mirrors, and the other type converts sunlight indirectly into energy using the photoelectric effect. We will get into these two different types as we continue our study of solar power. Solar power development began in the 1860s, but big solar plants were not built until the 1980s. There are large solar plants located throughout the world, but the largest plant is located in the Mojave Desert. There are several benefits of solar energy. The first would be that it is a renewable resource. Every time the sun comes out, solar panels absorb more sunlight. Since the sun is out on a regular basis, solar power can, can be renewed regularly. Solar power also does not hurt the environment. It does not give off carbon dioxide gases like the burning of fossil fuels which are thought to cause global warming. In the picture you see a house with solar panels on the roof. While initial installation of the solar panels can be expensive, the amount of money saved on electricity will make up for this expense in the long run. This second picture shows a hot water heater that is powered by solar power. There are other types of items that, while not, while not all widely available, can be powered by solar power. These include cars, water cleaners, and solar cookers. Now let's look at the second alternative energy we are studying. This is wind power. Like solar power, wind power is renewable. The wind is a resource that has been around for as long as anyone can remember and will most likely be around for several years to come. Wind power also does not produce greenhouse gases. This will help the decrease the problem of global warming. Wind power can also be used throughout the world. Wind is all around us and there is not a section of the world that does not have wind. This first picture is a picture of wind turbines. Wind turbines take in the kinetic energy from wind and change it into energy that can be used for electricity or to power items. There are a wide range of sizes of turbines. Turbines are used throughout the world to provide energy to homes and businesses. This next slide shows a windmill. Windmills have been around since the Middle Ages. A windmill is a form of a turbine that is used to power machinery. There are several different types of mills that exist throughout the world. This is a picture of a sailboat. Did you think that this was something that I would include in a slideshow about energy? Well, the wind powers sailboats. The sail of the boat captures the wind, and this is what helps move the boat across the water. Depending on the speed of the boat, sailboats can move very fast. The final energy we will look at is water power. Water power is also called hydroelectricity. Hydro means water, so this name actually means water electricity. As of today, hydroelectricity is the most widely used renewable energy in the world. This should be evident since the majority of the earth is covered by water. While most of the earth is covered with water, in order to harness energy from the water, it has to be flowing. The water cannot be standing still like in most lakes. The most common way to harvest energy from water is with a dam. Dams have been in existence since 3000 BC. Dams are located all over the world. They use a structure to stop water movement so the flowing water's energy can be used to provide energy. This next slide is that of a water wheel. Like the windmill, they have been around for hundreds of years. Their use is diminishing now. At one time, water wheels were used to power machinery like mills. Water wheels are still being used today in paddle boats to help them move. This last picture is one of water that is being used to run a washing machine. 
Harness flowing water is currently used in showers and power washers to clean houses. So now that I've described these alternative energy resources to you, what should you do if you have more questions? Well, the best thing to do would be to further your research with the use of your computer. There are several excellent resources out there for you to explore. The next two slides are the citations for the images that I use to create the slideshow. They can all be found at Flickr in the Creative Commons area. The final slide contains the websites that were used to find the information for this slideshow. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed my show.